Hello everybody, today I want to do a review on Movie Pass. Yay! I, I saw this, uh, I don't know, I guess even like a year ago, maybe a little bit further than that. At, at one point, it was that you paid 50 bucks a month and you go see as many films as you want, any, as, uh, as many 2D films, standard def films, oh, not standard def, but, but non 3D films or IMAX films uh, as you want. They lowered it down to 10 bucks. I thought, huh. So I still, I was thinking, there's no way this thing could work. Looked at some reviews. I tried to sign up once. It didn't work. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I never got my card, and I was like, all right, forget it. Then they knocked the price down to like, I forgot, like 70 bucks or 80 bucks for a year, thinking, man, I don't want to pay that much because I don't know if it works. So they finally raised the price back up to $10, and I thought, I'll just try it out. I got some time now. And so they finally sent me a card. And if you look, it's basically, uh, I'm trying to hide the numbers, but it's, it's a MasterCard there. It's a debit card. And what you do is you get the app, you download the app, and on here I got the movie theaters that are in my area. You can go to any movie theater you, you, that you want. I'm in East Texas, so uh, it's worked in Houston, it, it worked in Nacogdoches, it'll work in Lufkin, it'll work anywhere that's got some big chains. So I click on Nacogdoches here, and right now there's no movies going on because I'm, I'm doing this video kind of late, but I'll just click on a movie that I want. Well, I can just kind of go to maybe, maybe, some, maybe one of these other films areas here where I have something. Nope, they don't. Uh, but I could change to a different theater if I wanted to. Um, so I can do that. You click on that and a, a little screen pops up and it says success. And then they put money on your uh, your movie pass card and you just go and swipe it and like, like you would a credit card or debit card and you basically get to watch the film um, I'm not going to say for free because you pay $10, but for, you know, no cost. And I'm thinking, what's the business model? How is this going to be successful? Are they, are they, at yeah, $50, what they were doing was, was waiting for people not to go to five films. They went to one film, so they lost $40 and paid for somebody that went to a film every single day. That business model is gone now. Apparently what they're going to want to do is, because you've you got to use your phone to, to do this, is if you watch trailers or you watch advertisements, they can figure out, oh, this advertisement worked, and they want to go watch the Star Wars film or, or this, um, what other, other, other films going on, you know. Um, you know, let's say The Rise of the Robots was in the, in the movie theater, and you saw, you saw the trailer for that, say, oh, I want to go watch the Rise of the Robots film. Um, it, and they can use that data, and I guess they could sell that data to people. Uh, it also works for, you know, for, for businesses that are around movie theaters. So there's a lot of, of, of statistical data, I guess, they can draw from that. And that's kind of where they're going. They must have got some venture capital to support this. Because obviously, I paid $10. I, I've used this three times already. And so it's probably like $36 worth of movie tickets for $10. They couldn't sustain that model, of course. And I plan to go watch, I, probably, I may go watch a film tomorrow. I may go watch a film. I'm definitely gonna watch a film the next few days because there's, there's some new films coming out. And I'll probably watch, I'm gonna guess probably six films this month uh, off of this. So. Uh, it's kind of the Netflix for going to a movie theater, and I don't know if this will survive. I and some of the big chains are kind of upset because, like me, if you're paying, if you go to four movies and you're paying two fifty a movie, uh, that twelve dollars was you know, or sixteen dollars for a movie ticket is like ah. Eh. I, I wanted to go see um, Justice League, and it was a Sunday night, and it was full price. Like I think it was twelve bucks. I'm thinking, eh, I can't pay that much for this film. I'll come back on Tuesday or come back for a matinee for five or six bucks. And so um, for me, films, some films are worth matinee, some films were worth full price. That film was not worth full price to me. So uh, anyways, now with this, I can go watch it on a Sunday night. I can go watch it on uh, whenever I want to. I don't have to wait for the matinee. I can just go watch the film that I want to watch in there. If you uh, uh, are a couple or married or have a family, you have to get a car for everybody and they have to have their own phone. Uh, that's connected to the internet to be able to use this. And I guess down the line, they might make it for families or couples and things like that. But right now, every individual has to have, to have this. So it works. I looked around. It works pretty much every movie theater around this area. There's one little independent film place uh, uh, that it, it's not on the charts, but everybody everywhere else around here. And you can go look online before you get the card, make sure there's movie theaters that you can go to. Uh, but I'm quite impressed with this this uh, movie pass. So uh, right now I'm giving it a thumbs up. It works. Um, I was told that uh, at the local movie theater at certain times on the weekends it, it it pays them out, but didn't pay the sixty cents. And I guess maybe that was a sixty cents surcharge for you to go to have the honor of watching the movie movie on a weekend. 
Um, a lot of times on weekends, I'm just too busy to go watch movies on the weekend. So I usually watch films uh, during the week. So I'll have to try it out here. But so far, it's worked flawlessly. Um, I just go in there, pick the film I want to do it. It's a success. Put some money in the car. They swipe it and go from there. Apparently, there's a way that you can kind of, if there's a problem, you can go in there and put it on there. That's one of the things as well. You can't really talk to anybody alive, and it takes a while for them to get back at you. Uh, but I think they are trying. Um, they, they obviously had, had to hire a lot more people because the, the growth of this was just tremendous. And I think that first time when I tried to get it initially, that was a problem. Everybody was just slamming it, trying to get it, get a hold of this deal. And uh, so right now, Movie Pass, I, I, I give it a thumbs up. If you like films like I do, love films, uh, if you're someone who actually made a film like I did, like The Rise of the Robots, which is available at Amazon uh, Prime right now at www.therobotfilm.com, and you can watch my film bas for free, basically, if you got Amazon Prime. And who doesn't have Amazon Prime at this point? If you don't have it, find somebody that has it. Somebody in your family or friend's circle is going to have it, and make, make a day of it. Go watch The Rise of the Robots and, like 20 times, and you really enjoy that film. And uh, anyways, so... Uh, Movie Pass, thumbs up, and as always, rock and roll, and of course, it does compute. Yeah.